my name is Rebecca Kamen, I'm Professor Emerita at Northern Virginia Community College. I'm also currently visiting scholar and artist in residence in the Computational Neuroscience Initiative at the University of Pennsylvania. So basically the goal of, of my installation is to work to use sculpture and to work uh, with sound to create a sense of awe and wonder about different types of scientific phenomena. Because a lot of times phenomena is something that people don't feel really connected to unless they're researching it. What I'm trying to do is to create this experience for the viewer to take it out of something that they read about that's very static, that might appear to be very static to them and make it so dynamic that they wanna discover more about it or actually feel a part of it. So basically the portal project was reimagining something from outer space on the earth plane. In 2015, it was the 100th anniversary of Einstein's discovery of general relativity. And I didn't really know much about, you know, the dynamics of general relativity, but I love Einstein. He's been a major muse in the development of my work since, since the beginning of my art science practice. This particular research started at the American Philosophical Society in Philadelphia, examining the notebooks of John Archibald Wheeler, who uh, taught at Princeton and was a contemporary of Einstein. He actually coined the word uh, black hole and dark matter. So he was really significant. So that was where the journey started for me. And then I did a little more research and found out there was a scientist named Scott Hughes at MIT at the Kavli Institute. So I got myself on a plane, which isn't, is not rare for me, you know, in, in the quest for research. And Scott was wonderful. We spent a lot of time talking you know, about black holes. And he's as passionate about black holes as I am about the bridges between art and science. And so he planted a lot of seeds. He also allowed us to use a lot of his sonic data, which is one of the ways that they observe black holes. And so in that sound piece that you're playing is sonic data relating to black holes. I was then also invited to the Center for Computational Relativity at Rochester Institute of Technology. And so, I mean, that was exciting as well because they're using mathematics to plot black holes and algorithms. Years after I created Portal, I was invited to go to LAGO, which is the Laser Gravitational Wave Observatory, which was just one of the most exciting things because if you can believe it, that man has created an instrument on earth that has allowed us to be able to experience what Einstein had theory, gravitational waves. And this actually occurred on the 100th anniversary of his discovery of relativity. So for someone like myself who gets so excited about scientific discovery, for this to happen, I had one of those uh, images was an exhibition that was taking place at that same time. So it was so exciting for me to create a work of art to acknowledge the theory of relativity, which 
in reality now became a truth with, with this gravitational wave discovery. I think that scientists are, in fact, extremely emotional people. And they do a lot of what they do based on joy and beauty. And to capture that, it's not how non-scientists tend to see scientists, to capture that and make that sort of the fundamental part of an exhibition without forcing people to encounter things about science that scare them, I just thought was really revolutionary. So many things that connect us as artists and scientists, which is what this extraordinary partnership is about. And I think once you show that to the public, it's not as frightening, you know, because I think they have a fear of art and they have a fear of science. So we're, we're creating the bridge to make it possible.